Living started in, in 2013 after we lost a great man by the name of Dwayne Lally to suicide. Dwayne lived with depression and bipolar for a number of years and the stigma both internal and external kept him quiet. One thing I want people to know about Dwayne was he was a larger than life character. Dwayne was loving, loyal, he was very, very cheeky. He used to love playing pranks, particularly on myself, but he had a heart of gold. Not long after Dwayne's passing, we realised that there were a lot of people out there like Dwayne that were suffering in silence because of that stigma that was surrounding mental health and talking about it. And the ripple effect that Dwayne's life had on an unquantifiable amount of people changed so many people's lives. And yeah, it was, it was really a turning point for, for a lot of us. And we realised that we need to do something about it. Dwayne used to always say, we're living, man, we're living. And that's where the word sort of just stuck. We realised that there were plenty of great service providers in this country. All of them, they're doing a wonderful job, but there weren't many people out there educating people where to go to get help, how to get help, or to destigmatise the whole process of seeking help. It kept bringing us back to, to making the conversation okay, embracing speaking up and seeking help. We understood quite early that education was going to be the most important thing that we do. So our Living Well program goes right around the country. Uh, we deliver our program into schools free of charge. Uh, we also deliver businesses, sporting clubs, community groups, pretty much anywhere right around the country we deliver this 45 minute stigma reduction program. All with the aim of equipping people with the tools of how to spot the warning signs and symptoms, how to start the conversation if they themselves are struggling, how to be a support person or, or start a conversation with someone in your life that may be struggling, and then the wonderful professional service providers that are out there. We realised that one shirt, one hat, one hoodie could really create up to 20 life-changing, potentially life-saving conversations. So we started putting our logo and our hashtag on clothes and snapbacks and hoodies and t-shirts and that was kind of like creating a lifestyle of the movement so that people could see like a walking billboard and be like, oh, that's great. These guys are part of the living message. It ain't weak to speak. And it gives people who might be struggling in silence that opportunity to speak out through the power of fashion. It also created this wonderful thing that we never intended. And this was this community of like-minded people. And you'd walk down the street and you'd get this nod of acceptance when you were seen wearing a living shirt or you saw someone wearing a living shirt. It was just this weird nod of the head that you can't even talk, like you can't describe it. It was just that nod of understanding like, hey, I, I got you, I understand what it is you're wearing. I like to think of living as the, as the community's movement. And that comes through from fundraisers, supporters, sponsorships, donors. We've done 24 hour events up and down Castle Hill in Townsville to your local bake sale. Uh, for us, it's all about bringing people together with that common theme of positive mental health. Thanks to the support of our wonderful community, our fundraisers and our corporate partners, we are able to continue to take our It Ain't Week to Speak message right around the country. Well, we believe that with education comes understanding, with understanding comes acceptance and with acceptance comes hope. At Livin, we're on a mission to break the stigma of mental health so people can live a healthy and happy life. Don't be afraid to have those hard hitting conversations because a conversation can save a life. And it's okay if you don't have the answers to everything. Sometimes all that people need is a little bit of support, a listening ear, so that they can get back on track and start living again.